Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a special love and general situationship tarot reading session for you Capricorn. This reading for today Capricorn, this is the mid-month love and general situationship to reading for you. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Let us see what's coming towards you. This is a mid-month reading for you guys. I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being here today, Capricorn. If you are a guest viewers and if you would like to further connect with my channel, I invite you to um, click the bell, click subscribe, and um, to further connect with my channel. Um, all of the links about the website, about the social media account, products and services, and the merch, it's down the description box below. We send out bonus reading Capricorn. So if you're interested to um, receive the um, bonus reading, I invite you to also subscribe in our newsletter via the website, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you. What is the mid month reading for Capricorn sign? Mercury is in Capricorn up until December 13 to January 2, 2022. So there's a lot of practical communication that is happening around us. And then Venus is met, ret, retrograde, I think, December 18 or 19. But um, I'll get into that details probably um, in, in, in the love reading. We will be uploading the current feeling. So click the bell, click subscribe if you want to be notified. But Venus is more relationship and commitment. So I will be mentioning that in... Um, in, in the love reading, we will be uploading very soon, okay? So let's proceed your mid-month reading. This is for Capricorn. You started off with the Queen of Swords in upright position. You've got the Devil card in the Knight of Wands. Um, there is a very serious talk that would happen um, between now up until the end of this month, okay? It is coming from a person who has a lot of perspective. I don't think this is you. I feel like this is more of an invite for you to join a conversation, Capricorn. And the Queen of Swords, um, let me just write it down. So, the Queen of, this is a big talk, okay? This is a big talk from, um, from the Queen of Swords, uh, Capricorn. Um, she's very logical and she's very flexible. She holds the, um... The Ace of Swords. So she knows how to judge. She has her own perception. She has let me just move. She has her own understanding of things. She's open to communicate to you and to talk to you. And her aim, it could be a male or a female, but this person is going to invite you to have a, a conversation. It's actually a big talk. For some of you, it is really about a relationship because you've got the devil card in reverse could be a third party it could be something complicated it could be something around since the month of um march april may june and um for some of you the last four weeks okay um it's really brewing okay it's been very very intense and this person is really inviting you to connect and to have this big talk and it is finally to set st to set things straight with you you know the devil card is in reverse the knight of wands in reverse this is a very serious talk okay it's a serious talk because it is wanting to get rid of the complication okay it's really wanting to clear their name to defend their name and they're also open to hear your side okay it's not emotional so don't take it personally um keep the conversation simple and aim for the logic, the right, right fuse way in a compromise. I feel like for some of you, 70% it is romantic, you know. Um, the devil card is in reverse. Its aim is to resolve the issue. Uh, there might be a conflict that would arise in the conversation. But, you know, that knight of wands in reverse, try to calm down. You know, knight of wands, it's, it's, it's really... It is, it's a very straightforward conversation. It kind of will pinch your heart. Some of what they say is true. Some of it, it's not actually true. That's why it's a dialogue. Yeah, there's a dialogue. Um, 
for some of you i'm getting like it is after christmas that you'll have this conversation with this person like they don't want to say goodbye to 2021 without talking to him with, without really defending their side really it's both romantic and it's connected it could be same you know sex relationship and or for some of you guys um same age you know you've, you've got the same age like there's a a level of maturity between the two of you it's really a mature talk and um could be you know capricorn taurus virgo an aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius it's possible it's possible guys that you have a a son or a daughter with this person or um if it's a friend it's it's a significant female it's a significant uh, uh a, a female is very significant for some of you if it's romantic um there's a letter r there's a letter t there's a letter e there's a letter n there's a letter s um in their conversation in in, in their name and letter c l c l there's a c l okay so um moving on okay the second reading is you've got the strength card the four of wands the nine of pentacles um for some of you guys strength card in reverse it could be <laughs> for some of you are struggling to complete a task you know it could be a very busy um next two weeks or it's been a, a busy season for you capricorn you don't have a you haven't really spent a lot of time with your family or at home you know you are low vitality like um strength card in reverse the four of wands it's kind of telling it's kind of advising you that in the next two weeks your calendar is so busy you are miss or mr congeniality nine of pentacles it is advising you capricorn to really sort out the invitation and make it more and more personal um because nine of pentacles you know you really need to feel that it is you know you, that you need to look forward for a vacation relaxing and it seems to be your calendar there's a lot of invite i feel like now up until the end of the, this year you really need to be very strategic with the invite because it you want you want to really solo your time you know there's a nine of pentacles you you're very available with the world <laughs> there's so much invitation or a lot of busy things that's going around so make sure that you spend quality time with yourself okay specifically home you know home and rest and home and spend your money also to yourself kind of thing like reward yourself it's kind of advising you that hey you work hard you so you you give that body that amazing soul of yours some rest okay and then um the last reading capricorn is you've got the queen of wands the page of pentacles the world the world the wheel of fortune um for some of you guys you've got you you've dated this person okay you dated this person you started off you you, you dated this person and you started off as friends or you met this person via a close friend of yours the queen of wands now this person they kind of disappointed you in the past because when they dated you um they made you feel like you've got a thing together like they this person made you feel that there is something special going on there is there is something special going on between the two of you however during that time that this person is dating you getting to know they are also um they're also in a journey or in a path of their life where exploring dating getting to know and really really like very thirsty to have a lifestyle of both you know dating getting to know catching up with friends and enjoying life so when you met this person they are at their best version it means that they're very they're very confident you know they're very confident um but you've got a lot of competition with them in the sense that you know imagine a person who they've, they've just they've just gotten out of a long-term relationship so they wouldn't jump right away in a commitment or romantic what they'll do is to explore so you've dated with you've dated this person and you made an impression with them 
Um, I feel like for some of you, August month or Aliyo, Sagittarius, but they've got this amazing personality, very cheerful. Um, for some of you, it ended up with kind of a, a, a friends with benefit thing. Um, Wheel of Fortune, it seems to be you and this person have finished a cycle, you know. This person, this Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, you will get a communication from someone you dated. Um, they're done, okay? This person has completed a cycle of exploring, dating, getting to know. Um, if you look at that, they're very orange. They have completed the cycle of exploring, you know. Um, when I say exploring, it means that, okay, they're quite happy with their stability. They have moved on from the pain or the, the hurt or whatever trauma or whatever conflict they've experienced in the past, whether it's connected to family or work or love, they are ready. Okay. So this is, this is big. This is big for them. Okay. This move towards you, you made a very, very good impression with this person. In fact, if you, 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 if, if you recall, if, if you guys really click, I mean, you click, but if you really made it into romantic and exclusive and you didn't break up or if the communication and the dating and getting to know didn't fall apart, this is a very good lover. So happened that you met them at the best version, but not yet in, in, in a mentality, not have a space of romantic. Okay, but that is wrap up because Wheel of Fortune, I'm ready now for love. So expect expect some sort of communication at the end of this year going towards uh january it is it is it it is it feels like you know the last minute you you got this person to last minute like it's it's almost probably new year or before new year where the last minute of 2021 you get to connect with this person and it looks very promising it looks and feels and good and promising that it can leave you and if you you will chat with this person like long chat long there's gonna be a long um conversation with this person a catch-up over the phone they will really give you an impression that i shall wait for you in 2022 i will be part of your 2022 okay so you might date this person again they're really willing to connect they're more available at the end going towards 2022 so this is an open open opportunity for you again it's depending on you so this is your reading it, it could be capricorn taurus here could be it could be younger than you um you know there is a there's an element that this person is quite bossy <laughs> you know like cute and bossy like when they it's hard to say no because they're so charming they're very charming and very witty and very smart. They can really make you laugh. So it's hard to say no with this person. So it's really cute and um, passionate, very charming. So this is your reading. Thank you, Capricorn, for being here. Thanks for connecting with me. I hope you like the reading. I hope you've connected with me. If you do, um, click the bell and click subscribe. And I'll see you soon again, guys. And have a great day. Bye-bye.